add what up it's a uh, third degree from thirdstop.com and i basically want to dispel a myth today and every time i see a npc versus software thread i see this in uh it's basically software can never sound like an npc and uh that is like totally 100 percent false and i want to show you basically why and um you know there is no sound card that i know of that sounds like an npc but you don't have to use a a sound card per se you know you can use other things as a sound card so what i'm going to show you is how to get the exact same sound as a npc 2000 2000 xl using the nakai s2000 rack i'm not emulating the sound of it i'm getting the exact same sound they have the same sound engine all that same converters so same thing so basically how i'm going to do it is i'm going to use recycle um by propeller head which is a program if you see my videos it's like i i love it um so basically first off you need propeller head you need version 2.0 2.0 is critical it seems like why not just get the newest one but uh it does not have the support for the hardware that uh or 2.1 doesn't have the support for the hardware samplers 2.0 has a ton of support for hardware samplers so you need 2.0 so basically if you have 2.0 and you just want to check this out or uh whatever if you go, I'm going to start from the beginning. If you go to edit sampler settings and see mine already shows up cuz it knows it's there. Kai S2000 via SCSI. Go to add whole gang of samplers from various uh manufacturers. And so I'm most familiar with the Kai S series, so I'll just speak on that real quick. Um basically you have a uh, a bunch of choices here you want to make sure it's supported by SCSI you can transfer uh, digital audio through MIDI that's another thing that people don't ever believe me with but it's true um, it just takes hours and hours and hours whereas SCSI it takes you know seconds fraction of a second um real quick with SCSI terrible with MIDI so you need that so that's the first aspect you need recycle second aspect you need the actual sampler. Um, I will go in on my website, thirdstop.com, and put what samplers are out there, which ones do it through SCSI, which ones do it only through MIDI, what's the equivalent MPC, um, what's a reasonable price. I mean, I'm just looking into these things more and more because, I mean, I bought my setup for 60 bucks, um, all, everything but the software for 60 bucks. Um, so, it's it's super cheap to do and uh it's it's real flexible um outside of just what i'm explaining and i'll do that in another video but uh so you need the sampler and then the last piece of the equation is a scuzzy card because you need your computer to be able to communicate with the sampler through scuzzy so cliff notes you need sampler supported by recycle recycle and a scuzzy card so basically I'll show you how easy this is. So, I got my Akai rack right here. I'm gonna record a sample, and uh, doing it this way is kind of a pain, but it's, it's not really that inconvenient. You have to set a sample time limit before you record. This thing has four minutes of uh, sample time in mono, more or less, just sli or slightly less, I guess, and then slightly less than two minutes um with a uh, stereo so anyways um you know uh, that's not too limiting for most people um so anyways so i got a record play the the records going actually and then so I gotta hook up my audio cables. I'm gonna hook my audio cables real quick. There we go. Hit record.
I know you can't see any of that, but it's real simple. Just uh, you hear it cut off for a second. Um, that's when it's done. So one thing, one you can just go to receive from my Akai S2000 via SCSI. Before you do that, make sure you get out of the record. I just hit the edit button real quick, or else it gets this weird sound to it. So. And the sound that this making right now is normal. So here's what we got. I mean, uh, real clean sounding to me. Um, and I mean, I'll trigger it right off the rack off my uh, ASR10. Now recycle. Sounds exactly the same. Um, no, I can't hear any difference. And uh, basically, uh, you you know you record the analog in, but since you're going through SCSI, it goes through digital. Now I think another possibility is if you have a digital I/O on yours installed, which I don't. You can just record directly to your computer, like any program, Pro Tools, Acid Pro, whatever you used to uh, to record with, and then because um, it does that with the analog outs. But uh, if you use the analog outs, you go from the record, which is analog, to the sampler, which is digital, back out to analog, back into your sound card. So it goes through two analog digital conversions instead of one. But I assume knowing other Akai products that it probably just the uh, digital outs always just mimic exactly what the analog outs are doing so if that's the case you could use the uh, Akai rack to basically for everything you just hook it up to your mixer so you could record vocals through it um, samples whatever whatever you know just be uh, if you're a Akai fucking immaculate sample or converter whatever bullshit glory for everything but um yeah anyways i just want to show you how to do it i personally don't actually use this program um or the sampler for what i just showed you ever but um i figured it'd be interesting for somebody um you know and it's actually cheaper than a consumer sound card like a you know like a m audio uh 2496 audio file or whatever those are like 100 bucks i think still maybe a little cheaper um this cost me 60 so if you're just recording sampling and you don't mind monitoring off your stock sound card, which I don't find to be nearly as much of a problem as uh, recording into it, um, you know, you could have yourself your own little interface for 60 bucks. and if, uh, if I'm correct about the digital thing, I don't know. I just think it's correct, you know, buy a sound card with digital for 100 bucks. buy this for... 50 and uh, then you can record everything like it's an NPC your whole computer is an NPC you could even monitor back like it's an NPC and have your whole little NPC world on your computer anyways so I'm kind of bullshitting because I get so frustrated with this uh, you can convince me on very little about hardware versus software I can make it function like hardware I can make it sound like hardware the only thing is workflow, and that's 100% personal. Hardware does not have better workflow than software. Software does not have better workflow than uh, hardware. It's all up to the personal user. I use an ASR10, which arguably has the shittiest workflow of any sampler that you consider still using at this point. And I don't mind it. It's just whatever. So, um... I don't, I don't love it, but I don't mind it. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's my little video. Hopefully, you learned some. Maybe it interests you. Probably at least gives you an idea of of what you can do if you think a little bit outside the box and don't just go to Guitar Center.